طيب so this book they say from the greatest of thamarat the fruits of ma'rifatullah what is from the greatest fruits that we attain we attain five main affairs Number one, where every time you learn the meanings of Allah, you're going to increase in khashya. min ibadihi ulama. Those who fear Allah the most and God conscious of Him as those who know more about Him. The next one, it is al muhabba. If you want to increase in love for Allah, then you learn more about His beautiful names and attributes. But really, the more you learn how great He is, in his names and attributes, the more you will love him. The third, al-rida, being pleased with him. Radi tu billahi rabban. I'm pleased as Allah, as my Allah, as my Creator and my Lord. The fourth, ashok, from the greatest of fruits of knowing the meanings of Allah's names, is that it will increase you in ashok, which is to yearn to him. Ashoku ila liqai. That you're going to yearn to meet him more. And the fifth, a dua you're going to increase more and make him dua with his beautiful names and attributes and to know how great they have uh, impact on your supplications. For really, Imam Sa'di, he himself said, Inna ma'rifatullah tad'u ila muhabbatihi wa khashyati. Coming to know Allah calls to loving him and fearing him and hoping him and being sincere to him. And this is the real reason of happiness. There's no way, he says, to come to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be acquainted with him except by coming to know his beautiful names and attributes and knowing his meanings. So this is where we are. We're going to start, inshallah. For those who are following the English, we're going to be on page 35. And those who have the Arabic, then it's clear. The first name, it is Ar-Rab, with no further delay. Generally, the names of Allah uh, that are mentioned here are approximately seven, over 70, just over 70. But we know there are more than that. But he has specified these because he's seen that they're often repeated, as he's going to mention at the introduction. And they are greatly read by the people. So he thought that it was incumbent for everyone to know their meanings. But how many names of Allah are found in the Quran? Some have said an explicit 81 names are found in the Quran. And for that reason they said 81, and then there's 19 explicit in the Sunnah, which makes which are eight, uh, which makes or the 18 that's remaining in the Sunnah, that which makes how much? Huh? 99. So this is where they're saying. But and others have said, no, there are more than that. In fact, if we were to count as Ibn Qayyim in his Nunia, he affirmed approximately as Sheikh Yahya Ali al-Hajuri authenticated with all of his names in a booklet, the names of Allah, to 109 names that are authentic for us. 109 names. Some scholars may add more based upon what their research of uh, authenticating but we know Allah's names are not confined to 99. They are just within the names that are, if we were to know 99, we obtain so much virtue. So we're going to continue with this, inshallah, as time is limited. Uh, and uh, with no further delay, but there are some names that people add. Uh, they, they say that it's from the names of Allah. Some of the mashayikh have wrote a book where they gathered about 20, 30, 237 names that people name Allah with, and it's not from his names. So it's, there's names that people ascribe to him that is not from his names. But regarding the Qur'an, there are some who say, there's, if you were to count them uh, real, uh, in detail of what is indicated, there's about 150 names of Allah found in the Qur'an. But as we mentioned, there's a difference on that number. But we'll continue, inshallah. Go ahead, bismillah.